Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Previously, I said I was going to move on to being an adult, but I kind of maybe lied just a little bit. I didn't really. I'm still going to go to be an adult, but there's something else I want to do. Over here, this area was closed until nighttime. Welcome to the treasure box shop. Open the chest and surprise! If you find a key inside, you'll be able to advance. Left and right, try your luck. Ten rupees to play. Do you want to try it? I would love to. Now, this is a pretty interesting minigame. There are locked doors, and what you have to do is open up the doors and guess which chest has a key in it. Sometimes a chest will have a key, sometimes a chest will have rupees, and then your game will be over, essentially. But, with the lens of truth, you can see what's inside chests in this game. So, this isn't a game of luck anymore. This is strictly a game of, hey, can you use your lens of truth? And the answer is, yes. I know how to use my lens of truth. So, this minigame is something I didn't want to show off just yet because, you know, it's completely luck based if you don't have the lens of truth. But now that I do have it, I can beat this minigame easy peasy lemon squeezy. Wow, all the keys have been in the left chest so far. This is freaking me out a little bit. But yeah, this minigame's not that bad. Um, it definitely. They're, they're all in the left chest. Is it gonna stay like that the entire time? Because. If it does, I, wow. Uh, but this minigame is completely random. Um, if you come back in here and you try to remember which chest has a key in it and you're trying to go off memory, then that's not actually going to work out well for you whatsoever. Because, fun fact, I spilled what's in that chest. But, whoa, it's a heart piece. Oh, man. Lens of truth. You, thanks for telling me what's in that chest. I actually forgot I could do that. I believe you can look into... Every single chest in the game, not just the chests that are within this minigame. So if you're interested in seeing what you're going to get in the chest, I believe you can use the Lens of Truth and just figure it out like that. So I might do that now. It does kind of ruin some of the mystery, but I do want to see if it works on any other chest. So I'll probably see what's inside certain chests uh, for maybe one episode. And after that point, I'll just leave it up to mystery all over again. So uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to... Do that mini game. It's a piece of heart. It's really easy. Once you get the lens of truth, I almost forgot about it. But there we go. Uh, there's a dog here. Should be right here. This white one. You, dog, follow me. I don't want the brown one. I want the white one. I want you. Come on. You, come. Dog, follow me. I want to take. I want to take you to some place, please. Well, the white dog's not following me right now, so I might as well take this little guy. All the way over into this back alley. What am I gonna do? I don't know. Something strange? No. That, that That's weird. Don't think like that. All I'm gonna do is show this dog to a woman. Right here. She looks like she needs a dog. Dog! This is not my dog! How can you mix up my puppy with a mutt like that? Apparently she doesn't want a dog, but she wants a specific dog. Her little puppy. But she can have that mutt for now. He actually doesn't leave. Um, I can't go into here. Can I? I can. It's the bomb chew shop. Um, I could buy bomb chews if I wanted to, but I don't find them to be super useful, so I'm not actually going to do that. Um, and I do want to save my money up. But I want to get this dog to follow me, because I believe this dog is the only dog that she will take. It is her little puppy. He's all nice, white, pristine, clean. So this should be it. Uh, if you actually do get one dog following you, you cannot get another dog to follow you, so it's one dog or none dog. So you have to get the specific dog you want to follow you before any other dog. So, is this the dog you want? Richard! This is my little Richard. Thank you, thank you. I'll give this to you as a reward. And another piece of heart. Yeah, there were a few pieces of heart that I was just forgetting to get. Because there was no real reason for me to go get them until now. But now that I'm actually back in Hyrule Field, trying to... Hyrule Field? What am I talking about? Uh, Hyrule Castle Town, trying to uh, turn into an adult, I can actually go check out these areas that I didn't check out before. There's this whole back alley that I've just never been to. Um, what do you have to say? It seems strange that packs of dogs roaming our streets at night. Does, oh, I read that weirdly. It, it seems strange that packs of dogs roam our streets at night. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Eh, not really. Isn't that what any good neighbor, sh neighbor should, <laughs> neighborhood should have? Bunch of dogs running around at night. Seems normal to me. 
But anyway, that's really it for the back alley. There's not a lot back there, but it is pretty interesting, and I usually never go back there, so it was kind of nice to go back there this one time and show off what was there. Again, nothing really. Uh, the lovers stay... By the way, I should probably actually talk about this. Uh, the lovers... And it's just kind of a neat detail. They stay here all night. They're here day and night. It never, ever... They are Sorry, they never, ever go away. I was trying to find the right word to say there, and I just started off the sentence wrong. I believe they say the same thing. Uh, yeah. It's nothing interesting. But, uh, it's worth mentioning that, hey, the lovers, they're so in love, they don't even know about the day or night cycle that this game has. Oh, they're always there, just spinning in circles, getting, getting dizzy. Or at least I feel like that would happen. Because, come on, you're spinning in circles for the entire, entire, uh, day and night? That's, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. Something else I should say. I don't know if I've said this before, but if you are in Hyrule Castle Town and you want it to become night, you have to have the sun song, you have to leave and wait for it to become night. Actually, no. No, what you can do is you can go into the Hyrule, Hyrule Castle field, uh, and then you can wait for it to become nighttime, and then you can go back into Castle Town. Because here's the thing, once you're in Hyrule Castle Town, that area is pretty static. It does not actually change from day or night there. If you just kind of wait for it to become day, it will never become day. If you wait for it to become night, it'll never become night. You have to make it become day or night. Because that area does change significantly when it goes from day to night. So they didn't have a cycle where people just kind of walked into their houses or anything. It's just a day-night change, and it won't change from day or night if you are actually... Uh, if you're in there itself. So it's kind of weird. I learned about that on a consecutive playthrough because I was like, waiting, waiting. I was like, I just need to get these two heart pieces. Why isn't it turning to nighttime? And, um, well, that's why. Day or night cycles do not happen once you're in Hyrule Castle Town. Uh, it only happens when you're in the Hyrule, f uh, the field of Hyrule Castle is, I think, what it's called. And, uh, if you are outside in Hyrule Field. You can't actually enter Hyrule Castle Town if it becomes nighttime and you are in Hyrule Field. So I'd recommend waiting for the night to come in Hyrule Castle Field. Whatever it's called. I don't know. It's a, it's a strange name. It's a strange place to begin with. But now that we're an adult, there are quite a few places I can go to. One of which is in Kakariko Village, so I'll meet you in just a second. Back in Kakariko Village. Weird wording there, but whatever. Now that I'm back in Kakariko Village, I am really, really close to the Shadow Temple, but again, we're not doing that just yet, boys. Putting back a little bit more story progress for what is to come. AKA going to all the bean spots that I actually planted and doing those because I kind of forgot about those. I was planning on going to the Shadow Temple after I finished the bottom of the well, giving me some consecutive dungeon action. Then I was like, oh wait, bean spots. Yeah, they exist. So here we go. Here's another bean spot that I planted and it should give me a piece of heart, I believe. Yep, there we go. Just a piece of heart sitting in a box. I don't know what it's doing there, but it's definitely there. So that's the only thing I wanted to come back to Hyrule Field for. Hyrule Field? Kakariko Village for! Wow, I'm getting my names mixed up a lot this episode. I don't know what's going on. Got you, kneecaps. Alright, now that we're back within the Lost Woods, I don't know why I came back with Got you, kneecaps. But now that we're back here, there are a few bean spots that I've planted here as well. One of which is actually within the village itself, so I might as well go to that first because a lot of the bean spots that I haven't actually gone to in here um, I only know how to get to via the beginning of the Lost Woods and not going back through them so or back through them in a reverse way I don't know that was a weird wording like everything else I'm saying today but uh, whatever so this will take me somewhere I don't know where yet but it'll take me somewhere Seems to just be taking me over the rooftops of everywhere else, which is neat, but uh, it's not really what I had in mind, so, um, just, just get me to the place I need to go, please. Please? You'll, can you go a little bit faster than that? There we go, we planted that bean spot for money. Yay! It's not like I had enough of that already. More money is absolutely great, though I really shouldn't be whining all that much. Money is actually a really good thing to have, so I'm not mad about that per se, but I was expecting a little bit more. But I guess getting let down is just fine. Just fine. 
There's one more bean spot in this general vicinity that I want to get, and it should be immediate to, immediately to the left as soon as I enter the Lost Woods. If I'm wrong, then, well, sucks to suck, but it should be right over here. Yep. There's an area I actually haven't gone into just yet. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, also, this bean spot should actually help for the, um, whatever it's called. The Big Orange Sword side quest. I was forgetting the name of the Big Orange Sword for a second, but... All this seems to do is get some, uh, gossip stones. Or, not gossip stones. I believe they're called that in some Zelda game, but they're Sheikah stones here, so I... I don't know. They do gossip, so it's an adequate name, but it's not the correct usage here. Huh? Um, so that's really nothing. This is just meant to make it easier to get out of the Lost Woods, so... I guess I might as well use this because, I mean, I have nothing left to do here, so... There we go, two relatively pointless bean spots, but I still wanted to do them nonetheless. You know, actually, while I'm on my way to the next area I want to go to, I think it's worth mentioning. Um, when you are playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console, remember that you can't turn the rumble off, first of all. Uh, and second of all, whenever you walk with a Pona, there's rumble. I know you can't hear it, I, I know for a fact you can't hear it, because I have my gamepad on the other side of the room, but I can still hear the gamepad rumbling every single time I walk. And I want to say this right now, they really, really overdid the rumble for this, uh, this part of the game, because I absolutely cannot take a Pona, or I can't, what's, what am I trying to say? I can't take riding a Pona in this part of the game while using the Wii U gamepad, because it vibrates my hands so much, and every single time you press the A button to make a Pona go faster, there's an even bigger vibration, and it's just such a, it's such a weird thing, and honestly, I would be perfectly fine if the vibration could be turned off, but it can't. It can't be turned off, so it's just relatively annoying. There are actually a lot of rocks we can break around here, so it's worth coming here for more than just the bean spot that I've planted. So I might as well break all these off. I can also uh, hookshot over to the other side, I believe, or use a pony, one of the two. Either way, it's not going to be too hard for me to get to the other side of there. Uh, there should be... Hmm... There should be one thing that I want to get all the way over here. I believe it's a gold sculptula, and I'm always, always, always trying to get more gold sculptulas, so I'm fine with coming over here. Um, that big cluster of rocks looks a little bit important. I didn't mean to talk to you, Navi. I know I have to play the Nocturne of Shadows, and I know I'm going in the completely wrong direction, but uh, leave me alone. I'm trying to have my fun. I'm trying to do everything in the game, but not really. I'm just trying to do the selective things that I want to do. One of which is getting this chest, which is 50 bucks. Not bad. Didn't need it, but not bad. Um, I believe that right up here, there should be a gold skull at night, so I'm going to play the Sun Song real quick. And after that, we can get that gold sculptula, and then use the bean spot. It might take me to the heart piece that I've already uh, obtained. I assume that's going to be the case, but uh, it's worth doing anyway. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure that I'm not going to be missing anything. But um, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. There's one more rock over here I want to break. It's right here. There shouldn't be anything in it, but I just want to make absolute sure. And it's actually a really good thing I came over here, because there's another gold sculptula that I had no idea about, so... Thanks! Come on... There we go. Um... There's also a secret here, I think? Uh, you won't be able to tell, but there's actually rumbling. If you remember, we got the... I forget exactly what it was called. Something of Agony. Uh, which was also replaced, by the way, in the 3DS version of the game, which I think is... Notable. It was replaced in the 3DS version of the game uh, for something that I believe played a sound effect whenever you got close to a secret. And uh, I'm fine with that change. The HD rumble... Not HD rumble, I'm thinking Switch. No, the rumble is not that great. And I I personally don't care for rumble all that much. Maybe that's just a me thing, but rumble's always been kind of this oddity that I've just never cared much for. Like, it, it's neat, sure, but it's not getting me very immersed within the game. In fact, I was playing Persona 5 recently, haha, <laughs> just talking about a completely different game, I know, but Persona 5 is really, really good. Can I say that first of all? Persona 5, beautiful game, near perfect. 
I'm not going to go that far, but it's a really good game. And I was actually taken out of the experience because of the rumble, and I was really disappointed by that. But on a more important note, Bean Spot. Let's see what's going on over here. Kind of just taking me down this canyon. Nothing really interesting is going on. Money. I'm down for money. Not really, though, because I don't need that money. Um, hard piece. I could get a hard piece there. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah. It was meant for the hard piece, but uh, I got it beforehand. So there you go. That's what that bean spot was meant for. And uh, now that I'm done in here, I'm going to go see where the other bean spots are and uh, see what those take me to. Hopefully not a hard piece that I've already gotten. One can hope and one can dream. Here's the bean spot that I was looking for. I actually didn't know it was in, within Lake Hylia, so falling down here was actually a good thing. Um, I kind of maybe messed that up a little bit because I wasn't sure exactly where it was going. But uh, something that's worth mentioning while I'm waiting for that bean spot to come all the way back over here is the Mask of Truth. The Happy Mask Salesman said, hey, try using it when you're an adult. You can't equip it. You cannot equip it. So, um, don't try it when you're an adult because it's impossible. But I, I just thought that was kind of neat to mention, you know. Oh, look, he tells you to use the mask, but then you actually can't use the mask. It's kind of funny. Uh, the bean spot's back, so now I can actually come over here and get this heart piece, which has been kind of annoying me for a long time. I've really, really wanted to get this, because I know there's a heart piece up here, and I just, again, have never been able to get the Scarecrow song to work. So this is a good way to get it. Don't hit me, please. Safe. That should be another heart, actually. Yep, we have filled up another heart. We are pretty close to the 20. If you didn't know, the max amount of hearts you can have in this game is 20. Uh, so we have around 14 at this point. That's not bad at all. I actually am really, really happy with that. I think that's more than my main save file on my 3DS. I actually went back to that recently and found out that, yeah, I didn't actually do as much as I thought I did. There's a lot of smaller things that I did, but uh, I never got a lot of heart pieces. So here you go. I guess I got all the heart- I got- no, I, I guess I'm doing slightly better than my original uh, playthrough of this game, so... Nice. Sweet. And the last bean spot I need to get is right here in Death Mountain Crater. Remember how I said there was a bean spot- or a, a heart- <laughs> what am I talking about? A heart piece that I couldn't get before because I didn't know how to get it? Well, this is how you get it. You stand on this bean spot and- oh look! It takes me over the volcano and I can jump off and- land on the bean spot again on accident but the point is that's how you get that piece of heart it's nothing super interesting but there you go that's what that bean spot is meant for it's better than money and the kakariko and i always say kakariko and maybe it's because i'm in kakariko so frequently but i always say in kakariko village no i'm not talking about kakariko village i'm not even talking about something close to kakariko village in fact it's on the opposite side of the map i'm talking about kokiri forest <sighs> What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Uh, there's money over here, and if I played the the Scarecrow song, then I would actually be able to get that, but eh, whatever. I have enough money as is, so I don't really care that much for it. But let's see. Is there anything else I can do? I believe there is. I'll be right back because I do want to warp to somewhere else, and I'll show you exactly what I can do if there is anything. I believe there is. There's something I'm forgetting, but I... I just, I, I need to go check to see what it is. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Um, I kind of forgot that I said I would go check out what's inside this windmill, uh, when I became an adult, so... This is the thing I was trying to remember. It's not super important, and I don't even think I can get up there. But it was worth remembering, because I do want to at least try. Um, I think it's worth a shot trying to climb up here and see what I can do. Because I want to see what's inside those pots. Probably nothing, but I see stairs. I see a pot. I feel like I can get there. I've never been there before So I'm quite interested. Don't mind me couple. I'm just trying to use a very sharp object to get above you Okay, so it doesn't look like I can come from that way. What if I come from the side? It does not look like I can come from the side either. So what if I come from this side? No Okay, well, I assume it's not anything important, but it was worth a shot. I wanted to try it out, and I mean, it's better to know that there's 
no way I know of that I can get up there than to know there's a place that I haven't actually visited yet. But uh, there's one more thing I can try to get up there. And that is right up here. No, there's no hookshot point. There's no way I can get up there. Huh. So it's just kind of there to be there. I'm sure there is some way to get up there, and I'm just not thinking of a way to get up there. But from all I know, that's impossible. But with that being said, we have done everything we can do so far, I believe. Except for a few larger side quests, which I just personally don't care for. Um, I... I'm pretty content with how this is going. I'm really, really happy with all the side quest stuff I've done. I'm, I'm sorry if it's annoyed you a little bit if I haven't done enough main quest stuff for you. But just be happy to know that next episode I will be moving on to the next temple in the game. Next time in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, I'll go to the Shadow Temple. But, again, that's for next time. Until then.